this part of town um, was home to the new jail and it was the new courthouse which both replaced earlier buildings that would have originally been in around the square part of town. Both the jail and the courthouse here were designed originally by Sir Richard Morrison. The jail was built in 1818 at a cost of um, £23,000, which would have been a lot of money at the time. The courthouse here was built less than 20 years later at a cost of £13,000, and it was built of Le Carreau limestone. So at that time, that would have been a substantial amount of money, a substantial amount of investment and development ongoing in the town. The jail itself was a very substantial building. The main block of the building was um, a nine-sided cell block and it had ancillary structures. It had um, a hospital, it had a chapel, it had classrooms. And I think they in particular reflect the Victorian ideals at the time to improve society where they felt certain sectors of society needed to be improved. The conditions in the jail were very tough and very stark. Despite that, it's been said that some prisoners actually deliberately committed crimes with the hope of getting shelter in the prison, I suppose, before the workhouse was built in the 1840s. The courthouse here was unfortunately destroyed by a fire in the 1880s, but they actually held a competition at the time to see who would redesign the courthouse. So the building that we're sitting in today was designed by an architect called Christopher J. Mulvaney. The cases that would have been heard here in this courtroom would very much, I suppose, reflect the issues and the problems in society at that time. Especially in the mid-19th century Ireland when we had the famine, there was a lot of civil unrest, there was a lot of poverty, there was a lot of agrarian unrest where people were trying to sort of fight for um, landowners' rights. It's amazing to think of the poor people who came through here, perhaps charged for stealing um, maybe a loaf of bread to feed their family, and um, to look around and think they could perhaps, you know, have been sent to the jail or maybe even transported to Australia. Another, I suppose, link between the courthouse here and the jail was it said that there was a tunnel linking the courthouse here with the jail and it is actually there literally from under the dock and um, that's I suppose hence the phrase you're going down because if you were in the dock and you were convicted you went down those steps and that was it. If you were transported to Australia you never saw your family and friends again. Though on a lighter note it's thought that the, the basement area or the tunnel area of the courthouse were were considered to be useful as a nuclear bunker in the 50s. Uh, thankfully that, did, that need didn't come to pass. The jail was closed in 1886 and um, I suppose after its closure it was used as an, um, an RIC barracks and um, a Garda barracks. It was um, demolished in um, the 1948 the site was still used by Roscommon County Council um, for the fire station and older incarnations of council offices. The present day Garda station is built on the site and the new Civic HQ, the new Roscommon County Council Civic HQ is built on the site. The Roscommon County Council operated out of this courthouse here up until just two years ago. So there's a continuity of use there, continuity of purpose. The courthouse here has just literally now come into the full control of the court service for the first time ever and there that harks a new future for this building. Mm -hmm.